I'm feeling good. Yeah. yeah. Everything's pretty good right now. Hi, my name is Nevaeh Marquez and I'm 15 years old. My mom's my best friend. She's always there. She like sees me at my best and my worst. She's just my best friend and she's always there for me. Unfortunately, I think I thought like if you do everything you're supposed to do, then you know, you get this magic gold card that says everything's gonna go okay. And I thought we were doing everything we were supposed to be doing in terms of like parenting and our relationship with God and ministry. And I knew that wasn't true, but I guess maybe I thought maybe we were different. <laughs> My name is Trinity Marquez and I'm a mother of four. I was driving to a retreat. I got a call that Navea was in the hospital and that they were transferring her to LA. When they told me that like I needed a new heart, I was like kind of confused and weirded out. Eventually what would happen if she didn't, you know, take medicine or have a heart transplant is her heart would fail. Like if you looked at her, you hung out with her, you wouldn't know there was anything wrong. It's harder for me to breathe than other people. So like I can't run and do sports and like anything athletic at all. It kills me that my physical heart is great and my daughter's isn't. Emotionally, my heart is up and down. The miracle that I believe is gonna happen is just, it's nothing like to God, like he could do it so easily. And I believe that he is going to. Honest to God, I'm hoping that we'll go to one of those echoes of her heart and the doctor's gonna look at it and say, this, your heart looks different and it looks better and, <laughs> and everything is fixed. For whatever reason, he put this heart issue into our life and I just think it was for him to show me who he is. Like if the miracle that I've been hoping for doesn't happen and I asked this huge question for God to show me who he was and then, you know, this awful thing happens in the midst of that. Um, it doesn't shake that I know that God is real and in charge. I have wondered why he hasn't yet and I think that it's so that it can reach to as many people as possible before he makes this miracle happen. So that his word will just be spread even further and it'll change even more lives than ever thought of. Sometimes people say that, you know, maybe the miracle is that Nevea was like the fastest person ever to get on the heart transplant list, because she was. Maybe the miracle is that we found it because with restrictive cardiomyopathy, a lot of times people find out they have it too late. Maybe the miracle is that she's gonna have this amazing heart and she's gonna be healed, you know, quickly and you know maybe she won't need another heart transplant later on in life you know i don't know what the miracle is i just know that there is one even when everything is said and done either the transplant or the miracle i hope to be as close to god as i am now because people always search for god the most when they are in need and they want something but I want to be able to be in search for him just as much or even more even when I don't need something.